Good morning and welcome to the Morning Sprint. I'm Brittany Weir bringing you some of the top stories of the day. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please put those in the comments section below and I'll take a second to address them. We're going to start today with the big story coming out of New York. A uh, suspect accused in the shooting on a New York subway will make his First court appearance, 62-year-old Frank James is now behind bars and charged with terror-related crimes. So police say James actually tipped authorities off about his location. Just one day before the shooting, James posted a chilling video online talking about his desire to kill and advocating for mass violence. Well, he's suspected of setting off two smoke bombs and then opening fire on the Brooklyn train. Uh, at least 10 people were shot but are expected to be okay. And if convicted, he could face a life sentence in prison. And again, this is a story we will continue to keep you updated on as we learn more and as that trial starts to begin. And a new law signed by Governor Glenn Youngkin allows parents to be more involved with what goes on in the classroom. Uh, so it will notify parents when their kids assignments, including sexually explicit material and provide an alternative if requested. So most school districts have the option for parents to opt out of certain courses, but this law can cover other classes as well. Teachers and counselors and guidance counselors have to make this determination. Does this book, does this literature, does this curriculum fall within the Virginia code of what is sexually explicit? The Department of Education has until the end of July to develop a plan for schools to implement this policy. Locally, schools have to adopt a version of these guidelines by next January. So if you are a uh, parent who has a child in school, let us know your thoughts on this. Do you think this is a good idea? Would you like to be more involved and let, you know, be let known of when your kids are assigned these kind of assignments? Um, or do you think it's up to the teacher to decide what's best for the children? Um, so a lot of opinions obviously coming in on this, but let us know what your thoughts are on that. I'll take a look at the comments in a second. But first I want to get to this story that you may have seen uh, posted on our website. It's a unique traffic stop, and if you are you haven't seen it, you're going to want to stop and look at this. Uh, it's kind of cute. So Alta Vista Police body cam video captured what appeared to be the beginning of an ordinary traffic stop. But there was an amazing ending you wouldn't expect. Police Chief Tommy Maris pulls over Ben Mitchell, then asks him and his girlfriend, Sierra Harrison, to step out. And while well, as you can see there on their screen, what happened next? What she didn't know is that Ben would be waiting behind their truck on a one knee with a ring in hand. She had no clue. He contacted the police chief to be a part of this moment. The couple's expecting their first child and says they're waiting until after the baby's birth to schedule their wedding, but they plan on inviting the police chief. So uh, just a very kind of cool story there, but let me know what you think. Would you want your partner to propose to you in this way? Um, I think I would just be in such a panic being pulled over and asked to step out of the car and then seeing my person down on one knee. I'd be very confused. I don't know, but I think it's very, very cute. I'm glad it worked out for them. I'm very happy for the couple. So congratulations, but let us know your thoughts on a proposal. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, if you'd want that or not. <laughs> All right, moving on to the last story of the day, which is another very unique one, too. Well, a beloved children's book character has come to life and made his way to the Star City. So an eight-foot-tall cutout of Waldo from the Where's Waldo puzzle books can be seen at the construction site of Krillian's Crystal Spring Tower expansion. The site is right below Krillian Children's Hospital, giving patients and staff the perfect view to look out and see Where's Waldo. Well, each day you can find the Waldo cutout hiding in a different spot. There he is right there hiding the construction site. The construction crews say they have big plans to keep people asking, where's Waldo? I think this is awesome. I absolutely love this story. Uh, it's a way to be fun and interactive with a big project that's going on, but also just gives it, you know, children each day to wake up every morning or other people wake up every morning and look out the window and see if they can find him. And I think it's pretty difficult. I was looking at the broader picture earlier and I couldn't find him until I saw the zoomed in, zoomed in image of where he was. Um, so I think this is pretty cool. Let us know your thoughts about this. Um, and if you love the Where's Waldo books like we all did here at the station when you were younger. Um, and if you have any other ideas like this, if you heard of anything like this happening in other uh, parts of the country as well. So I'm gonna take a second and look at some of those comments before sign off for the day. Um, so we have a couple comments coming through right now. We have a good morning from Aaron. 
Um, and we have a couple other comments too as well, not related to anything with the stories that I shared. Um, but if you guys have any questions, comments about any of those stories, please let the, uh, uh, me know. Put those in that comment section. And as always, if you have any story ideas, you can send those to news at WSLS.com. And if you would like further details or further video of any of the stories I shared here this morning, you can head to our website at WSLS.com. I'm going to take one last look before we sign off, seeing if anything new has popped up. Nothing yet, but that's okay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and writing in those comments if you did. I hope you have a good rest of your day. We're almost at the weekend, so stay strong. Uh, but thank you for watching.